There's so many of y'all so fast. Hold on. What do you mean? What do you mean 1,600 people in two minutes? What do you mean? What do you mean 2,100 people in two minutes? What does that mean? Oh, Alex, welcome to the live. Thank God. What do you mean 2,400 people in two minutes? What does that mean? I can't count. Everyone... I may or may not be under the influence of Mrs. Mrs. Bacardi. Can I do a shout out to Lil Yachty? Will I date Lil Yachty? I don't know. Y'all keep mentioning him in my post. Hey, Lil Yachty. <laughs> How about I literally message Lil Yachty? I said, can I start sending you funny TikToks? And he said, sure, LMAO. <laughs> Lil Yachty says, sure, LMAO. <laughs> oh, girl. Thomas G0110. Get out of here with those comments, girl. Not that. Posty Cup. Hey, Posty Cup, Posty Fest. Everyone go follow Nails by Kenna on Instagram. She sent me these cow nails and they are giving me my gooch. They're giving me my uchi wally. <laughs> She's giving me my uchi wally today. I have not had long nails since literally Playlist Live, which was February 28th. I'm feeling my uchi wally fantasy. I'm not going to fall in love with Lil Yachty because I'm in love with someone else. I'm in love with someone else. Ashley, Ashley Lopez, you are going to prison. Delete that comment. <laughs> you are going to federal prison. I call you whore because I care. Go to prison. Go to prison. Go to prison. All of you bitches. <laughs> yeah. Go to jail. Jail sentence. Seven months. Six months and counting. Alex, I miss you so much. Y'all, I literally flew to North Carolina to go visit Alex. And I miss him. <sighs> this is too much. Jack Harlow. Yeah. Jack Harlow, give me a chance, 2020. Please, I'm begging. On bended knee. You bitches, you bitches came from my other live. Yeah, how are we feeling about this this hair, ladies? This um, Brady Bunch hair. I know I got a big forehead, but I'm kind of living this middle part fantasy. Red flag gang. Is this Bella Hadid's twin? Very much slurp, very much postico, very much Bacardi rum, lime juice, and simple syrup, very much. Um, your hair looks like it could be a cat's hair and aristocrat. It's aristocats, you fucking idiot, first of all. Okay. Austin Eyes, did you change your number since high school? I've tried to call you. Girl, who the fuck is Austin Eyes? I don't know who that is. Unless it's Austin, um... Your last name starts with a B. Is it? Austin... You dated Priscilla. Hold on, is that who I'm thinking of? <laughs> Emma Buckaloo. Eat my ass. You know? Hey, y'all! <laughs> this is 
is the most mentally ill I've been on Instagram Live in a long time. How do y'all feel about these nails? Like I said, nails by Kenna. Nails by Kenna. Very much. Moo by Doja Cat. Very much. Um, very much. <laughs> very much my milkshake brings all the boys to the farm and they're like ek raffin underscore shut up you bitches you bitches came right from my tiktok live to this live i am literally gagged Very much cow, very much Miss Doja Cat Moo. I filmed a YouTube video in like 20 minutes. And my friend Katie FaceTimed me during it. And I was like, yeah, but you need to dump him. Like drunk girl in the bathroom shit. You need to fucking dump him. Anyway. <gasps> Infinitely Harry, you better fucking work, bitch. I live for you. Forrest, get the fuck out of my live. This isn't for you. Not me simping over Forrest and him seeing it. Austin Eyes said I'm out. <laughs> Ciao, anyway. 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 Wait, Alex, come back. Where did you go? I miss Alex so much. Is he still in here? My milkshake brings all the boys to the farm and they're like, it's better than yours. Hold on. Who has... Yeah, I was live. <laughs> it's... Go back to TikTok, it's not safe. <laughs> Ciao, anyways. Big boobs. Very much 70s glam. Very much. <laughs> I hate it here. I need to end this live. These nails, though, are such a vibe. Hold on. What did I say? One more time. Nails by this girl. Nails by Kenna. Oh, girl. Go tag her. What's her at? Hey, guys. Unboxing. She wrote me a little note and everything. I literally cried. She was like, hi, Brittany. I love you. <coughs> nails by Kenna. Adorable and affordable press on nails. Periana Grande. And she sent me these too. Hold on. You know, like, can I breathe? Can I function as a human? Am I missing a nail? This one has five, this one has four. Whatever. She sent me rainbow ones. Nails by Kenna literally said gay pride, and I'm here for it. And I'm missing the nail all of a sudden. I don't know where it went. Am I such asleep? Can I breathe air? These are so cute. Oh, there it is. Never mind, I got it. I asked her for pride nails, and she literally made me these. Not Tracy Mattel in my fucking life, girl. Hey, mama. Miss Tracy, I've been listening to Blue Smoke. I was thinking of you. I was thinking of you, Miss Ma'am. Look at these. Are you living for these? Are you living for these? Blue smoke. Blue smoke climbing up the mountain. Blue smoke winding around the bend. Blue smoke is a name of a heartbreak train that I be running. Can I live? Can I live? Are we training? Okay, Ms. World. Forrest, get the fuck out of my live. Is this a nail art channel now? Yes, girl, where I promote other people's nail art. 
I used to do my own nail art. Girl, Miss Thing, in eighth grade, I used to think I was Mrs. Burberry. I would do the the classic Burberry print with the, the deer, the deer spots. Oh, girl, I thought I was Miss Fashion Nova. I thought I was Mrs. Prada. Miss Prada Gucci Givenchy. But really what I am is I'm Target. I'm Target. And I'm okay with that. Where are my lashes from? Girl, they're bold face lashes. Where are your lashes? Girl! They're this. Hold on. Newsworthy. <sighs> anyway. No, not very much Gucci. I am very much Burberry. I'm a Burberry girl. I'm a Burberry woman. Alex, I will paint your nails any day of the week. <laughs> this is too much. There's too there's so much happening. There's so much happening. Number three, Sky Jackson. <laughs> Number five. Burger King foot lettuce. Trixie says your beauty. Literally no one can take you. Trixie, Miss Girl, look at this. I'm trying this Brady Bunch. 70s. I'm about to get my root three touch. So this is all going to be blonde. And I'm going full faucet. I'm going full 1974. Realness, fantasy, boots the house, work, gag, boots, tea. Oh, tea, snatch the work, sis. <laughs> White girls love saying boots the house. <laughs> Number seven, Tony Lopez. <laughs> Number 11, The Hype House. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Girl, Miss Trixie, if you don't text me back, everybody is... I get a thousand DMs a day talking about when are you and Tracy Mattel go make another video? When are you and Tracy Mattel this, that, and the other? And I'm like, girl, when she decides to unblock me. Sis, that's on period the house down. You didn't have to snap so hard. <laughs> oh, girl. Number 11, your father will die. <laughs> Number 12, is it cake? <laughs> Y'all need a song, the vocals. Girl, if Miss Trixie Mattel will let me on a song, I will sing with her. I'll talk about some, uh, what's, what's a classic Dolly song everyone forgets about? How about, like, girl, so I put Backwoods Barbie on my Instagram story today, um, which is a Dolly Parton song, and people DM'd me and said, this is a Trixie Mattel song. I didn't know Dolly sang this. I said, that is such disrespect. That is disrespect. I will do a Backwoods Barbie cover with Mrs. Brian, Trixie Mattel. What am I drinking? Rum. I'm drinking rum, lime juice, and simple syrup because I'm a woman from the South. It doesn't take a lot. Number 13, Daddy Issues. Hey, Angel. Disrespectful. I'm literally yelling. It's 9.30 at night. How about the fact that me and Mrs. Trixie are literally neighbors? Well, not neighbors, but we live very close to each other. Number seven, Brittany's forehead. <laughs> Number 14, Buzz Lightyear. Number 14, Buzz Lightyear Spanish mode. This is too much. Y'all are too much for me. Add me to this live. Trixie, come on. Come on, Miss Woman. Go live. Here come the Trixie stands. Here we go. <laughs> <clears throat> Tracy, answer me. It says waiting for Tracy Martell. Waiting. Waiting. 
Where's Miss Woman? Miss Woman. Can she answer? Yeah, where is Miss Tracy Martell? Number 16, drunk Brittany. Yeah. All the white gays are coming, literally. The second it says Trixie Mattel is live with Brittany Broski, the internet's gonna fucking crash. Oh, so she declined, okay. I requested. Girl, I'm requesting you, it's not that hard. <laughs> we all have to be the CEO of Apple to fucking join this Instagram live, waiting for Trixie Mattel. Go live with Trixie Mattel. Trixie Mattel? Twixie Mattel. This is too much. Hi, silver screen vanity. I stan you, bitch. How are you? Not the white gays. The white gays are coming. Y'all, I'm dead ass. The second it says Trixie Mattel is live with X, they'll flood me. They'll flood me. Where is this? How'd she send the how'd she send the request? Am I an idiot? <laughs> Twixie Matwell. Cancel. She sent me a request. Not Trixie saying, girl, I'm getting my postmates. Girl, how about Miss Tracy Martell's ordering Buffalo Wild Wings postmates? No, what does she get? David Busters. <laughs> She's getting motherfucking David Busters, uh, jalapeno poppers. White people love jalapeno poppers. <laughs> Where is she? I don't know how to go live. I don't know the first damn thing. Trixie, I'm sending you a request. Answer it or I will kill myself on live. Garlic parmesan wings. <laughs> What is that? What did you get? Um, it's a taco. It's a taco. We also, I just got out of drag, so my face is all red. Look at me. <laughs> what kind of taco? It's a burrito. Girl, that's pink eye. You got it's pink. A, it's, it's a burrito. It's a burrito. What's your tea? Girl, I've been watching your stream, but I don't know how this started, and you're just in number seven, my dad's leg. What are you talking about? <laughs> We're counting it down. We're counting down this this moment. <laughs> Number nine, Trixie Mattel's uh, debut album. Oh yes, I can't believe somebody didn't know back was Barbie. I mean, I'm flattered, but that's clearly a Dolly Parton song. No, girl, I got so many DMs. Like, I thought this was a Trixie Mattel song. I had no idea, and I was like, that's so fucking disrespectful. It's disrespectful. The idea that we would even put somebody like her in the league of yeah. me. Can we agree? Blue Smoke is one of the most groundbreaking musical moments in history. Oh, Park. yeah. And it ain't hurts to know you're leaving. And it ain't hurts to know you lied. Yeah, it's lit. <laughs> okay, period. Yeah. And the live version sounds just like her. I mean, it's, or, well, I mean, it sounds like the record. And Little Sparrow. Girl, when she does Little Sparrow live. Oh. Yeah. oh. Or Blue Smoke also has that one sad ass song about the person, the, the dead person. Oh, Lord. No, I'm too drunk. I can't remember. Not her internet. <laughs> Tracy Mattel makes so much damn money on tour, she can't even stream. No, I looked up what song it was. Banks of Ohio. Banks of Ohio. I've never heard it. Am I fake? And that also that Don't Think Twice, that Bob Dylan cover. Don't think twice. It's all right. Yes, and the other one um, that she sings with them. Um, hold on, it's a duet. You're thinking of Kenny Rogers. You can't make old friends. No, it's a woman. It's a woman. I think, I, might think twice. That's. I think that's what I'm thinking of. I would check again, but I don't want to get red. Yeah. Girl, Do you like that trio album, the Linda Rodstadt, um, Dolly Parton, Emily Harris. That one's yeah. good. Wildflowers on it. Yeah. Lit. So I, good. 
crying up until like 15 minutes ago. I was doing YouTube videos today. We need to do another video. I'm begging you on bended knee, girl. They're in my DMs harassing me. I need to be <laughs> bitch. Yeah. I need so, to give you the Brittany Broski beat. We came up. Yes, I want you to. I want to. Well, we could take one of my wigs and I'm going to do that little bang with the oh, love. Young. Yes. I love when it's like 4 a.m. and there's literally nothing going on. And it's you in front of your desk lamp, like the golden hour. <laughs> <laughs> like the selfie, the selfie no one asked for. No, it's this. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's so fun. No, we need to. No, we need to. I'll text you because definitely separate. Like if we've both been quarantining, we can definitely film together. Well, that's what you think. I quarantined for like six weeks and I filmed with James Charles and people are like, fake, y'all fake. <laughs> so, Where's the mask? Okay, yeah. so fuck the rest of us, right? Yeah. Also, well, also people were, this, I also filmed with James Charles before everyone now suddenly is like, people flip-flop, girl. Those YouTubers, they have, the people who watch the YouTube drama videos, they have a lot of flip-flopping feelings on anyone <laughs> on any given day. But you know what the tea is, is that at the end of the day, Miss Gabby Hanna and James Charles have never had more fucking views. <laughs> That's Girl. I didn't really know about the drama videos, like, as a thing until semi-recently. And I was like, there's entire oh, yeah. people who have YouTube channels that are about talking about other YouTube channels. And they get thousands in ad revenue. I have a question for you. Yes. What's sadder? Filming a drama video or watching a drama video? How about both? They're tied. Tied. <laughs> How about you know what? admitting that you watch a drama channel? I do not watch it. I mean, I just became aware of it. Lie again. <laughs> Lie again. I know you watch it. I know you, you are so country. Is you lying on me? Is you lying on me? <laughs> they are lying on my name. There's lying on me. You know what else is country? No. Um. Just talking about uh, Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star drama. She's Googling. The best is like, it's some girl in her bedroom in a hoodie with like a lot of makeup <laughs> on being like, hey guys, it's time to deep dive into what happened to her channel. <laughs> on February 1st, December 2016, she She's tweeted LOL. Like it's so much. It's true though. It's a lot. Girl, someone said like a CNN news report. <laughs> oh. The, the drama channels report the news with all the conviction of, like, CNN. No, dead ass. It's like investigative journalism, because it is. And it's based on nothing. It is. They act like they have unsolved mysteries. They turn on the camera in their house and said, hit it. They said, I quiet on set. Hey, shh. Quiet on set. Fuck. Do you have, because girl, I've been to your house. And I know there's like that open area. Do you have screaming neighbors? Or is that just something that happens to me because I'm poor? No, I don't have screaming neighbors, but it's Hollywood. So I do have screaming humans outside. Right. Do you ever have to, like, I can't film? Oh, we, oh, all the time. Or um, for a while they were building this condo building. So every day there was a taco truck. So every day it played um, <laughs> for like an hour. Yeah. And they finally yeah. stopped. No, it's been fine, actually. I mean, I was just talking, I was doing filming earlier, and I was like, I don't want to be dark-sided, but the one nice thing about Work -sided. people sheltered is that it's very quiet to film now. That's nice. See, because my neighbors have some screaming children who just scream at every time of the day. And it's so hard to film YouTube videos when yeah. it's like how we make our money. And it's hard because I can't even do my job. Yeah. It's, well, my building, like, they see me in drag sometimes, and I think they're all just, like, like, I'm the weird, like, heretic of the building. But, like, you they're know, like, not you know who lives on the top floor? A Satanist. You know. <laughs> She's doing sacrifices, girl. I've seen it. I've seen it. You know, this is really country. Um, Come here to me. Come here to me right now. Also, cut, um, the cut them eyes. <laughs> what the fuck is cut them eyes? Cut them eyes to me one more again. Cut them eyes to me. I heard this thing. Not someone saying, fuck them kids. <laughs> Girl, fuck them kids. Cut them eyes to me and one more again. That's very Southern. Cut them eyes to me. Cut Come here to me. Again. Come here to me. Did you have a switch growing up? Did you get beat with a switch? Oh, did I have a switch growing up? <laughs> yeah, and I still have it. As you should. 
Give us for the beauty room, girl. Look. Let's see the wig. Not the Nintendo <laughs> Switch. Not the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> that was so good. Um, no, I didn't have a Switch. Girl, Tracy Mattel is so, she's so just relatable. She plays Animal Crossing. She plays I do not fuck with Animal Crossing. Girl, Animal Crossing is Blue's Clues for adult gays, and I do not. <laughs> okay. As is. As a show. Not to, not to read. I also, have... you said that the white gays are going to trample in here as soon as um, I come on the stream. It's not the white gays. It's the 17-year-old lesbians, mama. As they should. I forget. Both the, of white, our... the white gays don't claim me. Yes. Our audiences overlap in the lesbians. They love us. And I love... They're, they're sick of you being just an ally. They're ready for you to have a girlfriend. Girl, my comment sections are flooded. They're like, when are you coming? I, I wish I was. I think it's a party. Brain, but I can't. But you know what? When you do, though, because you know you got to like, when you come out, it needs to be like. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like Brittany coming out, like, swimwear collection. Like, yes. Like, the curvy swim girl collect swimwear collection. Oh, me and me and uh, Victoria's Secret. <laughs> me and Aerie. Well, really Not Airy Wet Seal. What? <laughs> One of those companies that has a Bangladesh fucking. Uh, yes, where it's just flowy tops of like varying fabrics. Yes. How about Kylie Jenner getting red for that? They said, oh, you're a billionaire, but you can't pay your Bangladeshi employees. Got it. No, got it. 100%. I didn't know about that. I mean, I, the last controversy I heard about was when she said she was self made, and people were like, you don't know what those words mean. Oh, Kylie Jenner, first of all, you have a black child and you didn't say a damn word about Black Lives Matter, so. Girl, that's. that's I a, don't want to. I don't want to start. I would start. Cut them ass. Cut them ass from me again, Kylie Jenner. I swear to fucking God. What if she just joined this live? What would you do? I think I would have to kill myself. Or what if I like this and she's dead ass over there? You're like, and can we bring out Kylie? Welcome yeah. to the stage, Kylie Jenner. Yep. I never, I'm, I never am in touch with people's dramas and um, I'm always like the last person to know about any yeah. drama. And then it's like common information or like whenever I get canceled, people are like, are you okay? I'm like, I was until you called. What are you talking about? I feel like you're on the border of like, you know what's going on on the internet, but also you don't care. Oh, I but don't like, care. Yeah. But it's very crucial to what you do. So it's kind of tea. Yeah, I mean, I don't take it seriously, um, but I do pay attention to it. But, like, I don't take it seriously, you know? Oh. Like, to me, if I have a real problem with someone, like, I'll never have a public drama. Because to me, that's a phone call, not a tweet. You know what I mean? Right. I was just talking to Katya about this. The tea is, when you have, like, a drama with someone, when you drag them, like, the first person you drag through the mud is yourself. Because you're telling everyone, hello, I'm the type of person who has public drama. Like, uh, He said it on me. It's true, though. But then also, like, that's the weird drama thing, too, where, like, whoever's drama video is the newest, that's the truth now. Yeah. So it's always just the balls, like, in the court of whoever's video is the newest, because that's the true one now. That's the truth. It's, like, never supported. I'm, I hope I never get involved in a tea scandal. Because oh, you will. That, if there is tea, girl, let's talk about it on FaceTime. I don't want to put this on just anywhere on the internet. Yeah, Alyssa Edwards once, we were in a, I guess we had some kind of disagreement, and she called me on the phone and said, I heard you say this about me on Hey Queen, and I just want to squash it, and that's it, and it went away. And I was like, no one ever acts like that. You but called me don't. a fat bitch on, on, <laughs> on Hey Queen? <laughs> yep. You said I have mental issues on Hey Queen. Okay, let's talk about it. <laughs> um, I've been watching your, your videos on YouTube. I see that your bedroom is really vibey now. My bedroom is such a vibe. Look at this. Show me those lights. Times <laughs> when I want her to. It's also clear to me that you're always filming, like, let's say between the hours of 1 a.m. and 4. <laughs> Pretty much. It's called insomnia. Google it. Because also, I know that your roommate, you're always like, hey, guys, I'm back for another video. Like, she's going to wake <laughs> up and hit you or something. <laughs> no, it's true. I wake <laughs> up at, like, 1 p.m., and I'm I'm creatively active. I know you probably understand this. I'm creative between 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. That's like my hour. 
That's uh -huh. like my period. And I don't know what it is. I feel the funniest. I feel the most creative. I like want to, I'm motivated between those what hours. What time? Like 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. When no one's awake. You know what, though? It's called being self-employed. You can do whatever. I mean, why not? I mean, pretty much. Who contact me, boo? No one. No the one. The IRS. Well, that's the thing. Text me consistently. Now that you're rich and famous, you have an accountant. How about in our video, you said, I don't know if you've ever been in public with someone who's actually famous. <laughs> <laughs> you're famous at places. Airy. <laughs> Fashion Nova. Or, or Julius, Mama. Yes, Jamba Juice, Starbucks. Yeah, Trader, Trader Joe's, um, Gander Mountain, sis, yes, Gander Mountain. Yes. Mm -hmm. How about we didn't get recognized one time at Dave & Buster's? Oh, no one cared. But then again, could you, think of a, could you think of a less, like, Gen <laughs> Z and or gay community location? <laughs> but we were like, we're going. How about Hooters? Hooters is the next step up. Yeah, I've been trying. I've been playing more on TikTok, and how come everybody on TikTok talks like this to the camera? From no, it's up high. You gotta put it up high. Oh no, girl, it's you in bed. One. I don't know why. You look like <laughs> I look like Tweety Bird. <laughs> it's true. Because here's the thing: people want to put so much effort into TikTok when really all it takes is one of these, and you're viral. That's what it is. Well, not everybody's as gifted as you. Thank you for saying that in front of my audience. Mm -hmm. my, chat is, my chat is frozen. How many people are watching us? Mm, 4,000. <laughs> How long were you live before I joined? Mm, like 10 minutes. Ooh, ooh. Well. Ah, ah, ah. I'm so proud of you, by the way, for being so active on TikTok. You really get it. The boomer has joined. We're so proud. I just did a pride TikTok event and I told yes. them dead ass to their face. I'm still tricksing to tell eight. And you yeah. have a lot of nerve. And they said. <laughs> <laughs> literally, literally. <laughs> um, I, I, yeah, I've been having, I did a TikTok pride thing. Um, I was busy with the, the YouTube has been a lot of work because yeah. well, we were going to be doing two videos a month or two videos a week during pride. But then with the BLM movement being more of the focus, I was like, let's calm down and yeah. We only do about two videos a week. Yeah, um, a lot. And then everybody had this somber ass pride series as is. And mine was cooking with the Easy Bake Oven. And I was like. Yeah, I saw you on my recommended page. I said. But Scroll. you didn't click it. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you on my recommended page. It wasn't for me. I said, oh, that looks fun. Scroll. <laughs> I yeah. fucking hate you. Listen. Um, I have been, I'm dead serious. I, I've literally seen no one and I've been hardcore quarantined. We should get together and do a. Oh, I'm so serious. A revamp. Because how about this, Miss Girl? You recognize these? <gasps> oh, thank you for opening them and all that. Yeah. Thank you for sending them. They're everything. My favorite Spell. people to send them to are non, my favorite people to send them to are like non drag queen, non like beauty influencers because they actually appreciate the makeup. Oh, for sure. Like no, normal beauty influencers are like, maybe I'll open that package someday. They don't care. You send it to Jeffree Star. He says trash. <laughs> In the trash. I send to a lot of people, and I think like probably, let's say maybe half of them actually post about it. Do you think? But, That's insane. Mm, well, it, it depends. I mean, some people also, they open it after, like now we're sold out of all those lip glosses. So like now if you post about it, that shit don't help, you know. Work. Yeah. But I know how it is. Like, especially with traveling, sometimes I would get home and post about some makeup that came out a month ago and I'd be like, Hey guys, I'm loving this Marc Jacobs mascara. <laughs> yeah. I love this brand called um, Bonnie Bell. Yeah. <laughs> loving this. I want lip smacker necklaces to have a comeback. Ooh. Now, what are those? Um, uh, goddamn. Uh, you're talking about the edible necklaces. Well, you don't eat them, but like the necklaces with the lip smacker chapstick on it. Ooh. Are you too young? I might be too young. You might you might be a hundred years old, actually. Girl, how about? <laughs> so, so hard you can't even see. Those nails are psycho. Aren't these everything? Yeah, I love black and white. Uh, I love white nails. They make you look tan. Oh, period. Ariana Grande says hello. That's her. Oh. I learned that from her. Oh. Well, 
she doesn't have as much of a tanning issue as we do. It takes a lot of white nail polish to me look to make me look remotely tan. What's your go-to on tour? You don't do the classic red? No, I do like a metallic or a glitter because I play guitar and it's going to chip and I need it to not look obvious. You paint them on your real nails or you put, you glue like, on? Polishes. Oh, do, come on, Miss Beauty Nail Spa Salon. And I do like shimmery pink. Okay. Like, on, a, like a champagne. On your real nails? Yeah, on my real nails because I got to play the guitar. Girl, someone said brown cow stunning. <laughs> we get it, you watch Drag Race, you know? Oh, Boots Realness, The House Down T. The House T Work, Sis Mama Boots, The House Realness. You didn't have to snap off, Sis. <laughs> well, I'm going to go, but I love you. Yeah, I love you. I'll text you. We need to play. Yeah, we should, yeah, we should do a video. We can even, um, I've been hardcore socially distant, but we should, we should do it. Same. Okay, work. All right, peace and blessings. Bye, peace and love. Bye. How do I delete this bitch? Girl, where is my, how do I turn her around? There, thank God she's gone. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, girl, how are y'all feeling about this Marsha Brady Bunch fantasy? What is this? White, brown cow stunning, white cow okay. Brown cow realness. Okay, everyone, I might be leaving right now. Not someone asking who was that. <laughs> Girl, that was Miss Tracy Martell, CEO of RuPaul's Drag Race. <sighs> okay. I love y'all. I think I'm going to go. This has been a lot. Okay. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>